Right, we're here on the range with Gavin Moynihan, Super Sixes winner Gavin, which was uh, good for the bank balance, but in terms of being a professional player, didn't do much for you in terms of world ranking points yeah. or race to do ball points and, and stuff that for professional golfers really matter. So getting an invite this week, huge. Yeah. Oh yeah, again, the Sixes win was great. It was a nice few days, obviously. Um, it was the best I played all year and obviously the owner's been playing well most of the year, so it was, it was a great fit. Um, but to get in here, I only got in Friday evening, um, getting the call was great. Um, so I've played the last few years and I've enjoyed it. And I've, I've played I've played well in the K Club and I played a good round, the good last day last year to jump up the board. So um, it's a very a very easy going week for me. Just relax and it's a win win. As, as I said before, just just enjoy the week and just kind of just go for it. You're playing most of your golf on the Challenge Tour at the moment. When you look back on the Super Sixes and the success you had that week, have you been able to pick a part as to why you were able to perform so well that weekend and maybe not been able to keep that going throughout the rest of the year? Yeah, well, probably one of, the, one of the biggest factors is probably playing playing with Paul because we, we just, we just honestly, you swear you're out there playing a few holes in the evening. It was that relaxed because like, we'd known each other so long and then we're just, just feeding off each other. We both, played, we both played well. That was a big thing, but obviously just been so relaxed. But um, yeah, just like I played well in Scotland a few weeks ago, very relaxed. I just wanted to, I missed a few cuts in a row there, so I just wanted to, if I can make a cut and then just just slowly get back to where I was, because my golf's good, my golf's good enough. It's just mm. getting over that line. The line is, it's so it's so fine at the moment. So, um, but I'm happy with my game. Played played yeah, so nine on today. The, on the physical side of things, on the statistics on striking the ball yeah. when you're out here with all these big guns yeah. who are high up in the world rankings, you feel your game is comfortable. Is it just the, is it the mental level yeah, then that you yeah, need to start matching the, them? Yeah, it's golf. Probably is probably, I'd say it's probably seventy percent mental and then thirty percent the rest. So, um, like I know, like last year, um, finished about fourteenth against could probably nearly a better field last year in, in a way, um, against them lads. So if I can finish like a, even the first had a bad third round even, and um, finish fourteenth. So um, I feel my game's good enough. Not just 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 getting there is the hard part. How are you finding life on tour? Because for so many players, even Shane Lowry would often talk yeah. about it, and he had the win yeah. at an Irish Open when he started off on his professional route. How do you find the actual circuit, the going off by yourself, far-flung parts of the world, a lot of yeah. time in airports, a lot of time travelling? Yeah, this year has probably been the, the toughest, to be honest, because I got my car to Q school, and then I just didn't really have any time off. Like I had, I played seven or eight weeks in a row, up, right up to Q school, played Q school, and then I had to go to Mauritius and Joburg, about two weeks off for Christmas, and I was gone again. Um, so, and just the, the venues as well. You're going to Mauritius, Joburg. You're going to Dubai, Oman, Australia, back again, and then. Um, so that was a bit. That was a bit. And it was a bit new, and it does kind of take getting used to. But. Um, and but you it's great. I, I, that in? Are you looking yeah, around no, the I, cities? I, 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 or I, 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 all just um, work, work, work. A bit of both. So it depends where I am, really. Um, like Australia, I went into Perth and did, and the one they chose, I went did a bit of sightseeing, but. Um, you're, just, you're quite tired as well after the flight, so like, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just taking it easy. But um, yeah, I love it. Like it's great. It's just, it's just obviously a bit better when you're playing well. <laughs> <laughs> when we come out to the range as uh, amateurs and you see the crowds that'll be here watching Gray McDowell behind you or Darren Clark or when Rory McIlroy's here and there's yeah. hundreds of people and we just can't believe the way they strike the ball. When mm. you come here with these guys in the top ten, you watch John Ram or you yeah. watch Rory. Are, are you watching how they behave at tournaments like this? Are you trying to learn, pick up little things from them, or do you just focus on yourself? Um, maybe when I was a bit younger, I'd probably look at them, but the fact, not as much as I used to, and maybe hardly anything at the moment, probably. Um, you're just trying to get yourself in check and just make sure your game's right before you start looking at other boys. But um, I, w I wouldn't be. When I would maybe in the K Club, or when I played a few as an amateur there in um, 2013 and 14. I'd be, I'd be looking all over the place, mm. but not, not not that much now at all, really, to be honest. The conditions here are uh, pretty spectacular. Mm. There is a nice little bit of wind, though, which yeah. for anybody who's used to playing links may separate the field a little bit into players who aren't used to this, particularly playing hard links yeah. courses. I'm sure in and around North Dublin you've come across days like this and course setups like this a lot. Do you feel this week that gives you a bit of an advantage? I think this week, yeah, because it's quite a tough layout off the tee. Um, and lads have been inclined to take on, take it on a bit. So if you take it on a bit and you're just off, you're in the rough, or you can be a fairy bunker. You can make a bogey from nowhere here, honestly. Um, it's quite one of the tougher links course I've played in Ireland. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying the I enjoyed the test the last few days practicing. So it's um, I don't it's meant to be calm, much calmer Friday, I think, which is I love to blow a gale every day because that takes I think that takes at least mm. a quarter of the field out straight away because it's just some of the guys just can't can't handle that the strength of the wind that we're used to. Um, tougher than the island. I think this, if it blows the wind, I think this place will be tougher, yes. Um, the island is very tough, obviously. It's just, the island is a bit, slightly bit shorter. Um, a lot more wedges, like there's not many wedge shots here. 
I think a lot of like eight and seven iron par okay. like par fours after a good drive. So um, then if you're in a rough, you're chopping out and you can have a, a full wedge in then. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the week, very relaxed. So see how we go. Best of luck with us. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Gavin. Yeah, Thanks no a lot for that. Thanks that was great.